Okay, now our next witness is Tom Ilube, uh, Chief Executive Officer of Garlic, a new consumer company pioneering a range of services to help give people real power over their personal information in the digital world using groundbreaking semantic web technologies. Until recently, Tom was Chief Information Officer and a member of the Executive Committee of the world's largest online bank, Egg. Tom. Okay. I think that we're going through a, uh, a phase transition, as scientists would say, uh, in relation to personal information. I think that um, what's happening is that it's sort of the equivalent of going from uh, ice to water. The stuff is the same, but it's just profoundly uh, different. Um, and, uh, and we don't really appreciate that. We think that we're on a sort of gradual... Um, we're on a gradual journey, um, but I think that we've reached a critical point where things change quite markedly, and I think it changes for three reasons. One is the information that we put out there about ourselves, and we put a hell of a lot out there explicitly, and we leave a lot of trails uh, in the digital world that we don't always understand that we're leaving. The second is the information that the government uh, publishes about us, either uh, intentionally or unintentionally, uh, but even if you just take the intentional stuff uh, and put that together with the stuff that we put out there about ourselves. Um, and the third and the most important to me is not so much the quantity of information, it's the way it can be searched and joined up such that insights pop out of it uh, in ways that people didn't really uh, expect and companies that uh, are created to, uh, to make a business that all it does is give insight into your personal information in ways that you, you, know, you never expected. The last speaker referred to social graphs. Um, if you look at social networking sites, one of the key things that they're doing is creating massive social graphs and anyone who analyzes these graphs understands that they give you insight into the people that is not available in the explicit information that you say about yourself, and I can talk a bit more about that perhaps in the Q&A. I think this leads us to what might be termed a Moore's Law uh, of personal information in the, in the uh, computing world. The computing industry has been driven for many years by uh, what appears to be a fact. It's not really a law, but uh, that uh, computing power doubles every 18 months. From my observation, I think that the amount of personal information about us seems to be doubling over that sort of time frame. And that sort of exponential growth leads to some quite surprising consequences. It means that in five years' time, the average amount of personal information about us lot out there in the digital world through these various sources will be ten times what it is today, and it'll be joined up in ways that we don't even know about today, um, and that's a very different world. I'm not saying it's necessarily better or worse. I'm saying what we don't quite appreciate uh, is how different it is. Uh, I was asked um, whether I would just sort of illustrate the type of information that uh, is available generally, you know, uh, not, not by sort of searching particularly, but just by saying anyone in this room could go and have a look around and find this sort of information. Uh, and I was asked whether um, uh, I, would, I would do it for Claire, and I, I'm, but I'm not sure whether you... I'm quite happy to skip over it and go, it, it's really up to you. Needless to say, it depends what it is. I'm sitting there thinking, bloody hell, what was the last thing I said? Okay, so it is very quick, and I will, I will sort of... Um, uh, I will sort of flick over it quite quite quickly. So, you know, you do a, you do a normal search and you, you type in Claire Fox and, you know, you've got to uh, sort of appreciate the power of these things. 431,000 results in 0 .04 of a second. Now, they're not all this Claire Fox, but you have to appreciate... <laughs> you, you have to appreciate the power of the engine that can deliver a half a million results in 0 .04 uh, of a second. And, and then you can sort of drill down into them. If you go to the images thing, you realize that our pictures, our images, you know, it's a bit of a nonsense to get too precious about your image these days because it, you just go type your name in, go to the images thing. For a whole bunch of us, our picture will be out there. There will be videos about us. Um, uh, you go to Wikipedia and there'll be uh, a ton of stuff about quite a lot of the people in this room, I suspect. Uh, and it goes into quite a lot of detail because it's just people out there who are interested in knowing what degree you got or uh, what your sister's name is or what school you attended. Um, there are businesses like Zoom Info, people search businesses. What these businesses do is nothing other than look for personal information and package it all up. So Zoom Info has hoovered up 535 um, re references on the web about Claire and packaged them up into a profile, whether she likes it or not. They've done it anyway. They've done it for tens of millions of people. Wink is another one. People is another one. They're springing up all the time. People search engines are a big business being very well funded and they're very, very good at what they do. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, old, old articles that go into quite a lot of detail uh, about uh, family and so forth that you think were in an interview once but they're still out there. They don't go away. Um, if you want to find someone's address, go to 192 and you'll see their address. 
um, and where things are registered. If you want to find their mother's maiden name, go to the genealogy side. All of our maiden names are there. You want to have a look at their house, it's up there. Uh, you want to see how much they paid for it, it's up there. You want to make up a bill with their name on it, it takes five minutes. You know, that's it really. So, uh, <laughs> so and I could do that in half an hour for about 30% of the people in this room. Um, there's enough information. You don't have to be a celebrity. There's enough information for about a third of the people in this room for me to do, do that. So my conclusion really is that we need to look forward three or five years. We need to recognize that we're in a phase transition. When there is 10 times as much information about all of us out there as that, when the people search engines are 10 times better than they are today, then I can meet you, I will type your name into one of these search engines and it will just tell me your life. Now, my view is that that's not necessarily better or worse, it's just profoundly different. Uh, two examples very quickly. One is I had my identity stolen because of information uh, out there and I'm in the business and I spotted it and I dealt with it, but nonetheless there was not a thing I could do about it happening in the first place. On the other side of it, because of information that was out there, I found my sister, who I hadn't seen for 30 years in a country thousands of miles away. I just wouldn't have found her. So it's a different world. Um, there's amazing information out there, and what we need to understand as individuals is if we are moving from ice to water, then how do you recognize that and take those heavy skates off and learn how to swim instead? Thank you. Thank you.